Hello again and welcome to the tutorial video for Prelab 4 for Staff 250. So I, you can see that I have R open and we're going to open R Commander like we usually do by in the R console typing library, open parenthesis, capital R, CMDR, close that parenthesis and then hit enter. Okay, so now we have R Commander open and the goal of this Prelab is to show you how to make scatter plots and to edit and export data using R Commander. The data set that we're going to use today uh, is about commuters' distance that they travel to work, as well as their stress levels. So we conducted a study to investigate the relationship between commuting distance and stress. So we took a random sample of 20 employees and measured their daily commute distance in miles, and then gave them a stress test after they arrived at their job. And stress was measured on a 0 to 25 point scale. So, uh, this data is described in the chapter on summarizing data in the course pack. So the first thing that we're going to do is load the data set. So come up to data, load data set, and in my stats 250 prelab 4 folder I have commute stress .r data. So I'll double click that to open it. And now you can see that commute stress is the active data set in our commander. So let's go ahead and make a scatter plot of this. So to do this we're going to come up to graphs, scatter plot, and I'm going to choose miles to be the x-axis and stress to be the y-axis. And I'm going to click apply. Okay, so now in the original R window, uh, the graph, the scatter plots appeared. If you're on a Mac, the scatter plot will open in an x quartz window. So you can see this all looks okay, except we have this weird point up at about 10 miles that's at like 60 on the stress scale. But the stress scale only goes up to 25, so this has got to be some kind of issue. So let's figure out what point this is. We can do that by going back into our commander, and in the options tab of the scatterplot wizard, we can come down and look at find the section called identify points. I'm going to choose automatically and change the number of points to identify to one, because we really only have one outlier that this will automatically pick out and give us the observation number of. So let's click OK. OK, so we can see that this is observation 15 here. This is the one that was probably a data entry error. So let's go back and take a look at this. We can fix this by coming up to Edit Dataset. Click that. And we can find the 15th row. So here we have 10 miles and a stress score of 60. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sure that when I was typing this data in, um, I probably just hit zero accidentally, so this is probably a six. So I'm just going to delete that zero, click OK, and now let's remake our scatter plot. So I'll come back up to graphs, scatter plot, choose miles as the x axis, stress as the y, and click OK. So now this looks a lot better, right? This looks like a scatter plot that doesn't have any weird issues going on. Um, in terms of strange outliers that don't even make any sense. So, but, you know, as I think about this, I'm, I'm not super positive that that was a data entry error, or if it is 6, maybe, you know, maybe if I typed in 60, I could have typed in something else, right? So maybe it's not 6, and I, I misrepresented what that data point is. So this was bothering me, so I went out and collected some more data. So we're going to remove the uh, 15th row here. So to do that, we're going to come up to Data, Active Data Set, Remove Rows from Active Data Set. Click that, and we're going to remove row 15. So we'll just type 15 here, click OK. And it's saying that the data set already exists. Do we want to overwrite it? Here, yes. I don't need to make a new data set for it. I, I just want to get rid of this observation, so I'm OK with overwriting. So we'll click yes. And now that we've edited the data, I should make a note of this. So in my R Markdown document, I'm going to make a note that says I removed observation 15, which had a stress score of 60, which is not possible. This is likely a data entry error. So we just want to describe what we did here. Okay, so now let's go in and add the two new observations that I collected. So again, I'll click Edit Data Set. You can see the 15th row is gone. And let's go ahead and add a row. 
So in this first column as the miles, this first person traveled 11 miles a day to get to work and their stress level was nine. And in the second case, the person traveled only five miles to work a day and had a stress, a stress score of three. So we'll click OK. Now let's remake the scatter plot with the new data. Again, graphs, scatter plot, miles on the x-axis, stress on the y. This time we're going to add a title. So come over to options and title the graph appropriately. So here I'm going to type scatter plot of commute distance versus stress. Add a new line and say by 250 instructional team. And we'll click OK. So now we have this nice new scatter plot with our new data. So in our markdown, let's come over and describe what we're seeing in this scatter plot. So here this looks like there is an approximately linear relationship between commute distance and stress. The association is positive and moderately strong. There are no apparent outliers. Okay, so now uh, we want to save this data. So to do this, we're going to come up to data, active data set, save active data set. And it's going to ask you to save this as an R data file. I'm just going to do call this commute stress dash edited. Click save. Okay, before we click generate report, we just want to make sure that we have a prelab title appropriately. So I'm going to call this prelab four, working with data, and include your name. Go ahead and save that R markdown file again, and now click generate report. And be sure to upload that HTML file to Canvas, and you're all set. We'll see you in lab this week.